So here's one of the mouse traps that I've had good success with, but I thought uh, I'd try to see if I can make some improvements to it. What I like about the Better Mouse Trap by Intruder Incorporated is that it's easy to come apart, so it's easy to clean. Uh, these can get me dirty, messy. They can get different scents on them. They go together pretty easily. This is the uh, bait plate. This is the cap. And then this is just the spring. If you just load it up through over the top, catches in this little uh, groove there, and then you pull it back. And we're ready to go. <clears throat> now one of the issues with the... Um, What's nice about it is it's got what I call the soft trigger, and it works good. Uh, there's, in fact, this doesn't have teeth, it won't really make a big bloody mess. Uh, but one of the issues that this has is the mouse actually has to put enough uh, pressure on this to actually get it to fire. And if you look, there's quite a bit of push down it has to do. Now, if you've seen in some of my videos, they can actually sit on the side here and just lick the the bait off. Peanut butter in, in this example, which is what people most commonly use. Obviously, if you put something more rigid to it or if you hot glue a, you know, an almond or something onto this bait plate, they're going to have to jiggle it more just with force, and that might be enough to get it to trigger. But I thought I'd try another idea that really wouldn't uh, depend on this particular triggering system to get it to fire. So what I did is I took another one of these better mouse traps and I added a plate. Uh, I took out the bait plate itself and the idea is I'm just going to put some bait back in this uh, corner here and uh, the front is just held on with a loose screw so it acts as a, a fulcrum and then the trap itself basically hinges off of that uh, front screw. Now this little nail uh, pushing up here, that would get, is what's going to trigger the better mouse trap when they get the mouse to actually go in the cavity and if I set the trigger just very light trigger with his weight it should be enough to get that to trigger so the idea here is we're actually going to require you know try to force the mouse to go inside the trap itself to get at the bait over there so we far enough in that he wouldn't be able to lick it from the sides or from the front and um, if I set this with a light enough trigger like right about right there it won't take much weight by the mouse to get it to trigger, but he'll most likely will be partially into the trap at the time. So I'll put this on my uh, plan for overnight tonight, and we'll see if uh, we have any success, and maybe we'll learn something else. Talk to you later.